Hi, I'm Will Ritchie for Trelleborg Applied Technologies, and I want to give a brief overview of hollow glass microspheres, what they are, and specifically Trelleborg's advanced echosphere technology. So let's get right into it. A hollow glass microsphere, and specifically the echospheres, are an, are an amorphous silica powder. They're very spherical in shape, they're hollow, they are, they are at the micro size, about 50 microns on average, changes a little bit depending on the grade, and they're very low density, and that's key because the low density is what imparts the functionality to the filler that, it, that gives the advantages in the formulation. So what this all means is that the product truly is a microscopic glass bubble. Now the term bubble makes it almost sound as if it is a weak product, but it's actually quite strong. And that's one of the great things about hollow glass microspheres in general is that they impart quite a bit of specific strength, meaning the ratio of the strength to the density of the end formulation. The, particle, the product can range from 20 to 50 micron in mean diameter with a normal distribution of around 25 microns on either side of that mean. And the wall thicknesses are generally 100 nanometers to two microns, depending on the grade purchase, the density, the particle size. And so that's kind of generally what a hollow glass microsphere is. Now you'll notice in the bottom left, you see an image of them being poured. What all this means, the spherical shape, the low density, is that the product flows very freely. And so it's also a great product for a low impact on the net formulation's viscosity. Uh, so you can add them to a very high volumetric ratio to you know, further realize the advantages of the hollow functionality that the microsphere brings. So I want to talk about some of the basic properties that are brought to any formulation through the addition of echospheres. They are, as I said earlier, they're very lightweight. And what that means is for the more volumetric addition of the hollow glass microsphere you give to the formulation, the lower the density will be because resin densities are generally 1 to 1.4 grams per cc and the echosphere densities are 0.1 to 0.4. So the more you put in, the lower the weight. And again, you can see from that image there how spherical the product is. So again, they blend in very, very well. They also reduce dielectric properties. And this is something that uh, we'll discuss more in further videos. It's really specific to the echospheres and its unique glass chemistry, but it's a great, it's a great addition for reducing dielectric properties. And you can see that in thin film electronic materials where you're trying to create an insulating layer uh, without the risk of sparking or things of that nature. And it's also used heavily in radar transparent coatings where you're either trying to protect a radar absorbent coating with the use of a transparent coating over it, or you're just generally trying to pass a signal back and forth through a coating. Uh, the microspheres will reduce the dielectric properties and hence increase the, the uh, signal transparency. Uh, it also modulates acoustic impedance quite nicely. So generally speaking, if you have a material that's firing an acoustic signal like a piezoelectric into a medium. The, the difference between their two properties, the medium and the piezoelectric, can create a bounce back effect due to the impedance difference. Using a layer containing echospheres, you can actually modulate the speed of sound and the acoustic impedance within that uh, composite layer very carefully in a way in which you can get a step down effect from the piezoelectric into the medium reducing the uh, the acoustic impedance or specifically modulating the acoustic impedance in a way that it improves properties. And so that's a basic overview of what a microsphere is and some examples of where they might be used. Uh, please contact us if you have any other information.